Oh, when the grid goes down, this is about the diesel shortage that occurred. Now, I haven't seen this one coming. Um, we have seen temporary shortages and stuff during long weekends uh, when everybody's going away and nobody wants to work and, and refill the tanks and the fuel stations. Um, but basically what happened is the town that, well, the city of 200,000 that I go to work at and relatives live there and all that, the main town I go to when I need to buy stuff for building supplies and, and whatnot, um, and go there more or less five days a week for work as well, um, that town has a very large well, not very large, but decent sized refinery in it. Um, and essentially, this refinery, all bar Liberty service stations, and I think United service stations, because United service stations were bought out by Liberty or vice versa, something like that, they had diesel. But there is very few and far between of those service stations. All the other ones, all the other brands relied on the refinery in this town that I spend five days a week in. Um, and the word was, according to the paper, that something broke. Something in a pipe cracked, whatever. Something went kabang. <clears throat> and basically they couldn't refine diesel. They thought, oh, we'll fix it, we'll be right, we'll get it back online. Try to fix it, they couldn't fix it, they didn't get it sorted in time. Um, and quite simply, we ran out of diesel for a week and a half. I mean, you couldn't get it. It just was not there. Um, except at Liberty and United, if you could even find one of those fuel stations. We had one around the corner from where I work. Well, not just around the corner, but, you know a mile or so away, um, and, you know, that was fine for the, the people who lived in that area, um, and probably a lot of my workmates, um, who a few of have diesel vehicles, but the big thing with it all is almost no service stations, well, basically no service stations at all except those particular uh, line of service stations, United and Liberty, uh, all of them had ran out of diesel. They just flat out ran out. And I remember when I was coming back online, they had the people ringing up the radio station. They, they said, you know, if you know where there's diesel or where you can get some, um, we've got reports that it's coming back on, on again. If you know where you can get some from or you've just got some, ring in and tell us. And people were ringing in and they say, yeah, I went to this server and that. And they say they've got full tanks, come down and get as much as you want. Um, some service stations got as much as they could put in their tanks. Others got 50,000 litres. Um, you know, and you'll get more in a day or two. Um, but what actually happened was, <clears throat> only when they realised that things were really nasty, only when we actually service stations actually started running out. Um, they said, oh, well, we better order another two oil tankers of diesel from Singapore. Well, that's great now that we've run out, but then it's still going to take several weeks, like about blooming four to six weeks, to get from Singapore. You know, but um, it all come back online. Um, and those who needed it went and got it quick smart. And... Um, you know, because basically they were running on an empty tank. But that's uh, that's one that, you know, happens occasionally on long weekends, but not to that extent. Um, I was a bit concerned with it. And the other thing was, this was not in our town. This was state-wide. The entire state was like this. Um, Go and have a look at the, the state. There's, there's several million people in the state, and um, it's the state of Victoria. Um, 
and yeah, that was another case of the good goes down.